Hang Time is part of the Globally Balling Network. And you can check out our social media. That's facebook.com slash globally balling. Instagram, don't forget to follow us at globally balling official. And don't forget also to tweet us. You can tweet us your suggestions of who you want us to interview in all kinds of sports here in the Philippines. That's at Globally Ballin. And for all of our sports fans, we've got more shows for you here from the Globally Ballin Network. We have the Globally Ballin Podcast, an eternity of basketball, hang time, and who the heck are we? Just check it out on our YouTube page. That's at Globally Ballin. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we release a new video. And we have a new network show. Help us welcome Who the Heck Are We for Sports Opinions and Stories. It's available on Spotify and on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. If you're, it's still not enough, that ball is life. Well, for all our shoot lovers, basketball lovers, we've got an eternity of basketball just for you, provided by the Globally Ballin' Network. Again, available on Spotify and on YouTube. And for a quick and easy way to find us on all of our social media and all of our different shows, you can check it out, our link tree that's on the site right there. And you can find the link at the top of all of our show descriptions. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Hang Time with me, Denise Densai. And for this episode, we're going to be joined by Perla Spiker, former Lady Eagle and part of the legendary Fab Five. Ate Jem Ferrer. Ate Jem, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for having me here. And alam mo yun, sobrang tagal bago ako nakapag-confirm. Sorry! It's okay, it's okay. It's, you, you know, so it's a, uh, it's busy days, busy time. We're all trying to like maintain whatever sanity we can at this point. But I just wanted to start off na parang it's a couple of weeks since the PVL started. And Queen Anthony, Tiami, how... It's been a whirlwind <laughs> to, to put it na lang in a colorful way for the Perla Spikers. Pero I wanted to know your perspective dahil ikaw yung team captain. Ikaw yung nasa front lines, kumbaga eh. Yeah. Um, it was really tough and sobrang challenging nung experience namin. Uh, so nag-bubble training kami in Baguio for one month and then Medyo namalas kasi may mga sinamaan ng COVID sa amin. So, we had to cancel our training for 14 days. And sobrang laki ng sacrifices na ginawa talaga ng lahat dito sa team na to. Kasi sobrang daming pinagdaanan mentally, emotionally, physically. Well, isa-isay natin. Um, physically kasi sobrang challenging na kailangan namin maghabol ng condition. Especially sobrang ikli ng preparation ng team for last eh. Yung mga teams also, yung mga ipang team na, na nasa PBL and sobrang actually iwan na iwan kami kasi kahit na alam namin may advantage yung training namin sana sa Baguio pero medyo nahirapan kami bumawi and then mentally parang alam mo yun ang hirap habang naka-quarantine yung mga iba sa amin ng mga players saka coaching staff parang inisip namin kailan ba kami ulit makakalabas kailan ba matatapos to um, are, are we gonna be okay and all alam mo yun And being the ate of the team, uh, talagang kailangan kong maging strong for them. Kahit na sabi natin, may mga pinagdadaanan kami individually, pero hindi pwedeng ipakita sa mga bata na mahina ako. Kasi nakita ko na sa akin sila kumukuha ng lakas and I really need to guide them every day. And talagang kailangan patatagin yung loob kasi siguro nag-usap-usap na nga lang kami actually eh, na parang thank God na dito nangyari itong COVID na to sa Baguio, kami kami magkakasama, hindi yung nasa Manila, kami, nasa Manila kami with our family. So, mas okay na yung kami-kami na lang talaga. So, thank God, uh, nalampasan namin lahat ng challenges na yon ng team namin. Tapos, pagdating naman namin na Ilocos, ayun, medyo napakwarantine ulit kami. So, ang hirap, ang namin tumakbo sa isip namin kung makakalaro pa ba kami, kaya pa ba namin and all, knowing COVID na medyo... Uh, kind of traitor, hindi natin alam kung anong mangyari talaga. So, kailangan talagang hopefully vaccinated na yung mga tao ngayon pa lang. Okay, pause muna tayo sa COVID topic. I wanted to ask, when the Baguio incident happened, of course, you know, it's not just the health that people, that you had to deal with. Pero alam mo yung, of course, as usual, madaming tao na madami rin nasasabi. And how did you find, and how did the team find peace? How did you lead them to it to, you know, not mind that you're dealing with so many things. You were juggling so many things while in Baguio, trying to get to be in tip-top condition, to be able to compete. 
for the PBL after like a year long or more than a year long like you know rest na hindi ka nakikita kita being with new younger teammates na wala kang mga fellow batches mo wala kang mga fellow friends how did you manage to stay strong alam ko sobra <laughs> sobra cliche no ng stay strong but really you were the captain so para majority of the burden really fell on you how did you not break um siguro ano talaga nang hingi ako ng guidance kay God kasi sabi ko nga sobrang laki nitong talents na binibigay sa team namin laki ng pagsubok and then sabi ko pag hindi ko kinaya baka hindi rin kaya ni ng mga bata so hindi pwedeng mag- maging mahina so kailangan namin kumuha ng lakas sa isa't isa and then um I told them also na medyo lilo muna tayo sa social media kasi talagang ang hirap. Ang dami natin nababasa, ang dami comments, parang sinasabi ng mga tao, baka kasi may mga nag-speak out, kaya kayo yes, may mga ganyan yes. na nangyari. So parang sabi ko, iwasan na muna natin. And also, uh, after nung lumabas yung mga uh, statements from the local government of Baguio, parang sabi ko, I turn off my phone, di ako mag-reply sa kahit kanino, even my friends, parang di ako nag-reply. Um, I just update my family and yung mga talagang close friends ko na iilan lang. Kasi sabi ko sa kanila, uh, don't post anything muna. Iwas muna tayo sa social media. And yun nga, medyo napansin din actually ng mga fans na parang sila sabi nila, ah, kaya pala tahimik sila sa social media. So sabi ko, mas okay na yan para at least wala silang mahanap na putas sa atin kung ano ba talaga yung nangyari. Well, wala naman talaga kami nilabag na protocol but wala eh, mahirap talaga kasi hindi natin may kita kung ano yung kalaban natin. Mm-hmm. But um, sobrang thankful ako sa coaches and sa teammates ko na sobrang lakas ng loob and sobrang tibay talaga para malampasan lahat ng challenges na to. So sa kanila it's, rin talaga kumuha ng, kumuha ng lakas. Sobrang saludo ko sa ate dyan. Kasi itong year, na ka, nangyari lahat ito. <laughs> well, parang I know, I know. Sin- it's like, Hmm, parang sinabi mo na nga na kung magbe-break ka, magbe-break sa lang lahat. Pero with everything that's been happening during your time as captain, did you ever think na parang, Lord, too much na naman to. Parang hindi ko na kaya maging captain at this point. <laughs> parang sunod-sunod na yung pagsubok. Yeah, hindi naman, hindi ko naisip na sumuko kasi sabi ko nga, siguro binigay sa akin yung pagiging captain talaga kasi may tiwala na kayang ng pasan kahit parang actually naging roommate ko si Tang Ponce and then alam niya na pagka tahimik ako ang dami ng stress and everything na pumapasok sa isip ko but then sabi ko sa kanya Tang just give me time and then sobrang thankful ako kay Tang kasi naiintindihan talaga niya ako and ayun hanggang sa room lang yon pero paglabas ng room syempre parang kailangan okay ka sobrang malakas ka para sa teammates mo alam ko naman may mga Uh, pinagdadaanan lahat in, uh, individually, sobrang, kahit na hindi nila i-share sa amin, parang marunong kasing makiramdam yung mga tao. So talagang, alam mo yun, na-build talaga yung team para makilala namin yung isa't isa na, uy, pag tahimik siya, alam ko may pinagdadaanan, pag maingi yan, parang, okay, hindi ko siya kukulitin. So, yun talaga, may respect sa isa't isa sa time and all. Kasi Wait. nasa stage pa lang ng healing ang isa't isa. <laughs> That's a fun fact, ah, na roommate mo, si Tang Ponce, who is, everyone knows, her image in the UAP, she's super full of energy, yeah. sobrang laugh trip kasama, tapos sinabi mo, and is she the youngest? Parang she is one of one of um, the youngest. Yeah, yeah, one of the youngest. So, <laughs> did you really feel the age gap na parang, here you are, one of the seniors, roomed with one of the youngest? <laughs> Um, actually, medyo, kasi uh, si Tang, parang nung roommate siya sa Ilocos, parang sobrang spoiled siya sa akin na mix ako na, Tang, are you hungry? Sige, order ka. Yung mga ganon. Okay, wow. hindi na As in, sobrang, as in, parang pakapatid talaga yung trato ko, trato ko kay Tang Ponce. And as you can see naman na, sobrang energetic siya lagi, sobrang happy siya pagka nasa labas. Uh, Doon ko nakilala si Tang lalo pagdating sa, nung kami nalang dalawa, parang, ah, may time rin pala na, kaya ni Tang ng mag, magseryoso. I mean, seryoso siya outside but mm-hmm. hindi yung sobrang loud. Kumbaga, marami rin siyang napagdadaanan and nakita ko rin yung struggles talaga niya. So, ano kami, bigayan lang respect kung alam kong kailangan niya ng time, okay, I'll give you time. So, may mga ano naman, pagmumuni-muni kami sa kanya-kanyang bed namin pagdating sa, ano, sa hotel. 
So imagine si Tang, ano ko si Tang na mababay energy? Si Tang ka ba? <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking, parang Tang Ponce, nagmumuni-muni. <laughs> parang, parang hirap i-imagine yun na. Like, she's like always upbeat, laging tumatakbo, laging may joke. But, like, it's just so funny na she's, she's not naman capable, pero may ganun palang personality si Tang. Yeah, poor now, phone. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're telling us all of these, of course, fun stories naman. And, tell us, Pearl Spikers had a huge revamping sa players nyo. Um, I think out of all the previous, previous PVL teams, I mean, bago lumipat sa Signal, Kayo yung talagang na mix and match yung mga members nyo, mga players nyo, and a lot of the seniors left. Sila Ate Z, Ate Charo. But you got a lot of new young blood. Sila jo- joined, um, Cherry Nunag also, then Tang Ponce nga, as you mentioned. But how did you said that it really felt na you guys were family? And of course, in due time, alam yun ang basahin yung isa't isa. Pero... How was the chemistry the first time that you all, you know, saw each other, you all figured out na ah, magiging teammates para tayo this PVL season? Um, actually, yung one month preparation before the tournament, medyo maigli siya for us. But siguro staying in one house, like pagising mo, sila yung makita mo bago ka matulog, sila yung makita mo. Parang nakilala talaga namin yung isa't isa. And also si Coach Ray kasi... Um, May, may mga pa-Bible study siya. So, dun kami naging mas close sa isa't isa and we were able to talk about personal stuff na. So, sobrang saya rin sa pakiramdam na kahit na maikling panahon mo palang nakakasama itong mga bata sa team, uh, may tiwala sila to open up things na hindi nga nila na-open sa mga ibang tao na ka-close nila na alam yun, sobrang na-appreciate namin yung isa't isa kasi alam nila na may mga matatakbuhan sila ng mga ate and coaches para makinig sa mga pinagdadaanan nila. Especially sobrang hirap ng sacrifices simula nung pandemic eh. Nung yung ibang mga players sa team, uh, talagang nawalan sila ng team for this year. Like yeah. uh, yung, yung ibang teams. And sobrang nag-struggle sila maghanap kasi ito yung source of income nila. Ito yung tumutulong para sa pamilya nila. Itong volleyball talaga. And sobrang laking bagay na Nandiyan si Perlas para sa kanila, para tulungan sila. And siguro, ano, nakatulong din yung, ayun nga, yung mga kalu- mga on the sides namin na aside from training, yung mga bonding sa amin, like, nanonood kami ng mga movies, pag, ano, after ng training. So, talagang, medyo mahirap din naman kasi puro bata yung napunta dito sa Perlas. Mga bata na, eh. kumbaga kami pa nga yung nanibago ng mga seniors na, Ay, kami ba yung rookies? Kasi siguro, I think, apat na lang kaming natira na yeah. matanda. Kuya Su, Chami, um, Roma, and then ako. And then there is sobrang mga bata na na sobrang laki rin naman talaga nung nakakontribute nila sa team. Kasi marunong silang makisama and mag-adjust sa mga sistema ng mga bagong team. And we're really thankful na nandiyan yung coaches namin to guide us. Hindi lang sa laro, kundi spiritually also. Oh, I mean, it really shows na parang very well balanced yung team nyo. Like, these are the things na hindi talaga nakikita ng mga fans, ng mga viewers, of course, when they watch the games. They just see, of course, how it's played. But there's so much more story that goes underneath. But I wanted to try lang just, like, just a mini activity. Because you said, majority are young blood, but of course, you have the seniors. Now, name one trait na na ibibigay ng mga seniors sa team at the same time you balance it out na nabibigay naman ng ng youngers ng mga babies <laughs> ng mga rookies so example um if nabibigay ng mga seniors is of course maturity ano naman ang nabibigay na mga rookies rookies kuno isa la rookies kami rookies ba diba? <laughs> <laughs> kami yung rookies so siguro um seniors nagbibigay ng mga seniors um share namin yung experience namin sa kanila and then yung mga bago naman uh natutulungan din nila yung mga seniors na maka-experience din ng mga bagong bagay kasi kanya-kanya experience naman yan iba-iba experience namin so natututo sila sa amin and at the same time natututo rin kami sa kanila yun yung masarap sa pakiramdam kasi talagang Alam mo yun, wala yung competition na malala pagdating sa team na to. Kung baga, healthy naman yung competition. Kung ano yung nalalaman ng 
seniors isi-share sa mga bata and same time, yung mga bata, kung ano yung nakita nila, hindi sila niyang magsabi rin sa mga ate nila kasi alam nila makakatulong for the team. Aww. I think it really, that's why buong-buo ang Perla Spikers na kayo talaga, I mean, that you were able to survive everything that happened from Baguio to Ilocos. It was really because sobrang tight-knit yung foundation, matatag, at saka lahat kayo close yung chemistry. Now, the Perla Spikers isn't your first team at the gym, as we all know. You were part of the Fab Five, and you are part of the Lady Eagles when it was, of course, becoming the Lady Eagles. <laughs> like, take us back to the time na parang naaalala mo pa ba or it's all about the Perla Spikers now? <laughs> um, yeah, nami-miss ko yung uh, Fab Five, yung batch namin kasi, alam mo yun, iba yung samahan din namin pagdating din sa atin na before and also, really happy na we were able to contribute some uh, things para sa volleyball like, uh, So, naangat natin yung volleyball dito sa Pilipinas. Kahit na sinasabi mga tao na sa amin, like starts and all. Um, para sa amin, ang panalo pa rin yung mga fans kasi sila naman talaga yung nagsusupport all the way sa mga UAAP teams. And na hindi talaga naputol na tuloy-tuloy yung kanilang mga supporta sa mga players na gusto nila, sa mga teams na gusto nila. Kaya lang, mezo ngayon, uh, sana, sana lang... Uh, Medyo bigyan natin ng konting privacy yung mga players also kasi mm-hmm. yung mga kanya-kanya pinagdadaanan din. And siguro support pa rin all the way and respect lang para sa mga athletes natin. That's true. Sa tingin mo, ano yung mga experiences mo, yung mga learnings mo back in Ateneo, being a Lady Eagle, being part of the Fab Five, na nadala mo? Um, sa Perla Spikers in preparing you to be the captain during such hard times? <laughs> Siguro yung natutunan po nung uh, Ateneo Dings ko na nadala ko ngayon sa Perla, um, sabi nga ni Coach Walter sa amin, uh, always be humble lang and marun- matuto kang makisama sa mga bagong teammates kasi syempre, ayan nga, uh, after ng college, uh, naglaro na ako ng, pro, ng commercial league. So, iba-iba talaga yung nakasama kong mga players, iba yung mga coaches ko. So, kailangan matuto talagang mag-adjust sa mga nakakasama and dapat marunong kang makasa- makisama para tumagal talaga yung career mo sa sports. So, we're slowly building uh, the Gem Ferrer um, how to be a good leader. So, we're focusing first on the past. First is be humble. Second is make sure marunong ka makisama talaga. How about in the present? Now that you're experiencing all of this, ano pa yung mga sa, sa iyo, ah, yung mga tips that will make, that makes a good leader? It, it, of course, it doesn't have to be na nagawa mo yun, pero yung gusto mong gawin. At saka, yun nga, nagawa mo rin during that time sa Baguio, sa Ilocos. Siguro for me, um now, uh, to become an effective leader, uh, kailangan meron kang open communication with your teammates and your uh, managers kasi kahit na, alam mo yun, magkakalayo kayo, mahirap yung setup natin ngayon. Uh, di naman kayo nakapag-usap face-to-face. So, kailangan, nandun yung respeto on how how you communicate to them kasi pagka true text, pagka binasa mo, mahirap intindihin, especially ko lang emoji. So, ang daming mga <laughs> interpretations sa mga text. So, dapat, before you send a message or communicate to your teammates and coaches, uh, isip, pag-isipan mo muna kung tama ba yung sasabihin mo, kung ma-offend ba siya or whatever. Siguro, yun yung mahalaga sa panahon niyon kasi more on online tayo ngayon eh. And mga text lang. So, for me, habang magkakalayo yung mga players, coaches, talagang kailangan talaga ng open communication. Kailangan may suggestions ka and tamang opinion para maging mas okay yung samahan ng team and mas buo talaga. Gusto ko yung hinighlight mo yung tamang <laughs> opinion because ikaw na rin nagsabi kanina na madaming nasasabi yung mga tao. Sometimes it's false, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's mean, sometimes it's nice. And it's always so important na when you give your opinion, especially in a team setting, na kailangan, it's in the right context. Your heart is also right and you're saying the right words. But, yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard kasi if you're angry and then magsisend ka ng message, parang may iba yung dating doon sa receiver nung message. So, talagang ang hirap din. Maraming miscommunication sa panahon ngayon. Actually, puro online and text talaga. 
<laughs> Ikaw na nga nagsasabi na pag walang emojis. Pero yun nga, Ate Jem, like, share, share to us na parang paano mo nagagawa yun? Yung tamang opinion na nabibigay. Mahirap yun eh. Siguro, yeah, actually mahirap din. Especially being the Ate sa team. Parang ang hirap din yung bigla kang magsisend na lang basta-basta ng text sa lahat. And then, syempre, mm-hmm. ikaw, may gusto kang sabihin, pero parang pag, naka, pag natanggap na nila yung text, parang ma- maiba na itindi. So, mahirap mag-explain. So, um, during nung bubble, especially nung pag naka-quarantine kami, bago ako mag-send ng messages sa team, parang siguro mga three times, four times ko binabasa, tapos natanong ko, tang, masahit mo ha? Tama ba itong sasabihin ko? O, ma-offend ba? Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, talagang kailangan maging, ano, maingat din on how you talk to your friends and teammates kasi baka mamaya sabihin, ay, ang maldita naman ng text. Ay, bakit ganito? Galit ba siya? Yung mga ganang bagay. So, lalo lang makakasira yun sa team uh, kung hindi magiging tama yung magiging message mo sa kanila. So, aside from open communication, meron pa bang isa na naging learning mo on how to be an effective leader during this PVL season? Siguro, uh, nung time na na nung naglalaro na kami sa Ilocos, uh, si Casey naman, I wasn't able to play. I don't have yeah. that much uh, playing time inside the court. So, for me, siguro, kung nasa labas man, actually, sinasabi ako sila na yung, pag, yung pagiging captain, pang, ano lang yan, parang linya lang yan. Kasi lahat naman sa team, like, dumaan na sa pagiging captain. So, uh, kailangan talagang buhatin nila yung isa't isa pagdating sa loob ng court. And also, during time out, uh, I'm there to talk to them individually. Like, may pabulong, and then kakausapin ko na ganito, ganyan yung gagawin. And also, pagka may kailangan na pag sa team, like, sample lang, uh, gusto nyo yung training jersey. Parang, ayoko nung ako lang yung nag-decide. Parang, tatanungin ko muna lahat kung available ba yung ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Siguro, ganyan yung mas okay kaysa yung, parang, ako nga yung captain, then ako lang yung nag-decide. But, I need to consider also yung mga teammates ko kung ano yung mas okay din sa kanila. Because I need their opinions also and suggestions para sa team. Kamusta yung naging shift? You know, usually, di ba pag-captain ka, sinabi ko naman kanina na nasa front lines ka, pero ito, nasa front lines ka of behind the scenes. And you've always been part of like the starting six. You are the setter. You are the main setter for Perla Spikers. And kung kailan ka pa naging captain, kailan ka pa hindi ka nakakuha ng masyadong playing time. Which is super ironic. Now, did you, I don't know, how did you take that kind of change in your position sa team na parang, well, sometimes being a captain pala is more on learning to step back than moving forward, especially on the court. Siguro, uh, kailangan i-accept kung ano yung ibibigay sa'yo ng coach na task. Kasi not, uh, it's not naman, ibig sabihin na you're the captain, you need to be the starting six. And siguro nakita rin ni Coach Ray yung leadership ko kahit paano. Kaya ako yung inatasa niya maging captain ball. And siguro si as Cizel naman yung naging first ex nung PBL Open, ay nung Open Conference. So I think may nakita si Coach Ray na makakatulong, especially pagdating sa blockings niya, pag si Jelly nasa loob. She's okay sa akin. And kahit na nasa labas ako as the captain, um... Ready naman ako pagka ipapasok ako ni Coach Ray. Kung ano man yung maitutulong ko, nasa labas man ako ng court o nasa loob ng court, uh, malaking bagay yon para sa team kasi may maitutulong pa rin naman kung nasan ka man sa labas o sa loob. <laughs> Now, we talked about the past. Um, we've talked about the present. Now, how about the future? But since, you know, it's so hard to predict the future, especially mga na nangyayari ngayon, um, sa tingin mo, ano pa yung mga points or parts of yourself that you can improve to be a better leader? Siguro, um, to be a better leader, uh, as you mentioned nga, I'm one of the artists na in the team. Siguro, uh, inisip ko talaga, well, before pa, kahit naman di na ako, hindi ako yung veteran sa team. Parang, I always talk to the young players sa team. Parang, binibigay ko sa kanila, tinuturo ko sa kanila kung ano yung nalalaman ko sa sport. And, uh, hindi mo kailangan magdamot eh. Yun. Kasi, kung ano yung kung ano yung alam mo, dapat i-share mo para talagang lahat kayo mag-grow. Kasi sabi ko nga sa kanila, kung nakita nyo man na may pagkukulang din ako, sabihan nyo ako. Uh, huwag kayo matakot, di porkit uh, ate kami or senior kami dito sa team. Hindi namin tatanggapin kasi yun nga, 
nirespeto namin kung ano yung mga opinion ng isa't isa ng bawat isa. Kasi lahat ng yan, makakatulong din naman to, im- to improve ourselves and para rin talaga sa team. I love how this didn't really become like an interview, but I feel like I'm in a seminar of how to be an effective <laughs> leader, spoken by Jen Perrer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's super helpful at the gym. Oh, diba? Nakatipid pa ako ng ano, seminar. Hindi <laughs> magbabayad. First hand, front row seat, tapos one-on-one interview pa. But, you know, since we're talking about leadership during hard times, you know, as we end this seminar, <laughs> closing remarks mo. Um, like, ano yung masasabi mo, I guess, as encouragement to people who find themselves in this kind of a leadership position na where times are hard, na bakit ngayon pa ako naging leader? Pwede naman na mas madali, kung mas madali na situation. And, you know, I think, you know, words of encouragement for those people who find themselves in the same position as you and who want to deal with it in the same way or even better because of your advice. Um, siguro during this hard time talaga, sobrang hirap na lampasan yung mga challenges sa buhay-buhay ngayon. Uh, especially parang iniisip na natin na bakit, bakit ngayon pa sa akin dinigay itong task na to? Kung kailan ang hirap-hirap ng mga pinagdadaanan ng lahat ng tao sa buong mundo. So, I think it's a matter of ano eh, trust kay God kung kumbaga alam mong binigay sa yung task na to kasi kaya mo siyang lampasan and kaya mong gawin and at the same time uh, may kita mo na binigay din sa iyo yung task na yan ng mga mas nakakataas sa iyo kasi may tiwala talaga sila na kaya mong i-handle lahat ng sitwasyon na nilalampasan actually si coach Ray nga lagi niya sinasabi yan kamusta ka kamusta ka so sabi ko coach okay lang ako pero sa totoo lang deep inside medyo uh, umabot na ako sa point na kaya ko pa ba alam mo yun, minsan napapatanong ka, pero never ever question God na, God, bakit mo binigay sa akin to ngayon? Siguro, talagang kailangan uh, patatagin mo yung sarili mo kasi if bibigay ka, paano naman yung mga taong nakatingin sa'yo na ikaw yung kinukuhanan talaga nila ng lakas ng loob. And sobrang thankful talaga ako sa teammate ko kasi kung wala naman sila, parang, alam mo yun, susuko ka rin at susuko. And especially, uh, kumuha kayo ng lakas from your family na laging nandyan kahit na in good times or bad times, hindi kayo iniwan kahit kailan. Standing ovation. Kailan ilagay oh. yung my sound effects ng clapping. But really, Ate Jem, thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing your wisdom to me, to all our viewers, to our listeners. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, Denise. Kasi sobrang laking bagay actually na ito na I was able to share some things sa ating mga listeners and sana nakatulong yung mga chinichika ko. <laughs> <laughs> ako, madami ako natutunan. Like, <laughs> sobrang dami. And you're... It's true. I mean, you're already applying what you said kanina na wag maging madamot sa kaalaman. You know, madami yeah. kang matutulungan eh. Saka, uh, let people learn from you, from your mistakes, from your successes. Like, bakit may ipagkakait kung that might give success to other people as well. Yeah, and ano, laging tandaan na okay lang naman na magkamali. Basta matuto, matuto tayo and kailangan bumangon ulit. Yeah. Miss Universe, My Miss goodness. Universe. <laughs> Um, from, nasa ka ba? Ngayon. Manila. From Manila, Jem Ferrer. <laughs> Jemenea Ferrer. <laughs> But thank you really, Ate <laughs> Jem. Audition pala ito na miss you. <laughs> well, kung ako yung judge, ikaw na panalo. <laughs> Hindi, ikaw na lang, ikaw na lang. <laughs> But again, we thank you, Ate Jem, for being on the show and really for bringing smiles not just your wisdom thank you for your time thanks Atija. thank you so much thank you denise hang time is sponsored by cuts apparel so that's with a z follow them on social media at cuts apparel ph and hit them up for your company and sports uniforms and button down biking polos that's at cuts apparel on social media